Hello everyone! I wanted to make this video because I have three different guitar supports at the moment and each one of them has a different concept in mind. So basically these are the three types of guitar supports we have available in the market which is a guitar support with suction cups, one with claps and one with magnets. So really I just wanted to share my experience and my personal thoughts on each one of them and hopefully help you make a choice. First of all, I like to say there is no best support. Um, it basically depends on your needs and uh, your preference in terms of position and uh, ergonomy. For this, we should consider what support you are using currently and what are its advantages and disadvantages. So, first thing you should consider is height. So, how high do you like to play? and does your support allow for this position? Second thing is angle. If you prefer a more vertical position or a more horizontal position. The third factor is the placement of the guitar. So what I mean with this is if you prefer independent of angle or height, if you prefer it more to the right or more to the left or more center. The fourth factor you shall consider is if you prefer a stable support or a support with more maneuverability. The fifth thing you shall consider is your body type. If you are tall, if you are small and uh, if the support can manage to get the position you like for your body type. I would say this is especially important for tall people because some supports have the tendency to put the guitar at a vertical angle the higher you use it. Also, another thing is how you prefer to position your legs. For example, if you prefer to have them a little more close or a little wider. So, the last thing you want to consider is your share. And while it seems like it does not have much to do with the support directly, um, it truly really changes your feeling and perception when you're using it because, for example, if the share is too high, your leg might come at a bit of an angle and create tension. Ideally, you want your share to level out with your knee. First, what I will recommend is to experiment with other support and try to find a position that might be comfortable for you. And uh, also to try, for example, with the cross legs. Some people say that the feeling of this is similar to using a cushion. Or you can also try like here on the right arm and the feeling could be similar to something like a Murata support or a Woodside support. Moving on to the supports, I wanted to first talk about the pedal, which I have used for many years and I actually don't have a pedal right now. so. Um, so what's wrong with the pedal, right? Um, one of the problems you might face with the pedal is uh, with the lower back because you have to use your leg up. And uh, another problem you might face is that it doesn't go high up enough. Or maybe the position is a bit more to the left when you want it a bit more to the right. But really, um, if you're a beginner or I don't know if you really have the position you want, the angle you want and you don't feel much lower back pain, you will probably be just fine with a pedal. But since I am relatively tall, uh, I decided it really wasn't the one for me. I started with a bit of a neutral position on the pedal like 45 degrees and then I wanted to change more to a horizontal position because it felt right on the left and on the right end but it did not feel right for the body so I went vertical with the pedal it didn't feel right for the hands but it felt right for the body <laughs> because you know the problem here is that the angle becomes more direct with the string and you don't have so much flesh touching the string this can be fixed, for example, with um, using ramp nails, but uh, this type of shape really does not work for me. <laughs> so, what was my solution? I wanted to relax my back and keep an horizontal position. And that's where the ergo play comes 
into play. <laughs> the ergo play did the job relatively fine. And uh, you know, the, the thing about the ergo play is that uh, this ramp really helps users get in the position you want without being very fixed into a single position, you know? It, it actually finds a good balance between stable and uh, maneuverability. The ergo play works fine, but it still has a tendency for a higher angle. And also, this ergo play is not mine. So, at the time I wanted to buy a new support, I tried a guitar lift. And uh, it was the medium plate, it might have been a bit too small for me. But it felt too stable. That sounds kind of weird, but basically, you put your position on the guitar lift and it stays this way. So, <laughs> it is absolutely, I think it's more stable than the pedal, so if this is what you're looking for, then absolutely, the guitar lift is totally fine. But for me, and um, for making micro adjustments during the performance, it really, it really wasn't doing the job for me. So, moving on from the suction cups support, I exchanged my guitar lift for the Sageworks guitar support. For those that don't know, this was previously called Barnet Guitar Support. And uh, basically, in terms of concept, it's one of my favorites. And uh, it is really comfortable, stable and uh, flexible. So, the installation though, the installation of the, the support is really... <laughs> really complicated because you need to go inside and put some adhesives and uh, the magnets and uh, you know basically if you don't clean the inside of your guitar your magnets can come off <laughs> and it's a little scary and this actually happened to me um, I've never heard of anyone who had this happen to him but I think this should be something I should mention so, in terms of adjustments, it actually has a little more adjustments than the ergo play because you can have the height on this side and the height on this side. You can also pivot here, which is really good. But uh, the problem here is that once the magnets are installed, it's not, you know, it's not exactly the type of support where you can experiment with the position. And trust me, it really does make a difference where you put it. One thing stayed constant with the pedal, ergo play, guitar lift, sage works, which is the guitar always seemed to be a bit more centered or a bit more to the left when I actually needed it a bit more to the right. So this is what I meant when I said you should find a support that works for your needs because also this not only the placement, but also the angle, it was more vertical than I wanted it to be. So, moving on to clamp-based guitar supports, this is a very recent guitar support called Woodside Guitar Support. It's uh, very similar to the Murata guitar support, but uh, one of the key differences is that this part can be changed, so you can actually attach it to a raised fingerboard. So all you have to do is attach it to the guitar and then you just use this screw here. There is also a version with the lever which uh, makes it a bit faster but uh, it, it's basically, from what I know, it's basically the same. Now that it's on, let's try it. So, not sure if you can see the difference, but this one actually placed the guitar where I wanted it. It might actually be a little too high right now, but uh, it gets the guitar more to the right and at a more horizontal angle. Also, I can put my legs anyway I want to and uh, still have the guitar placed where I want to. In terms of adjustments you can adjust your height here and you can easily change the angle here. 
Now there might be concerns, for example, if the guitar moves when you don't want it to, but this actually never happened to me. The guitar only moves if I want it to. Important to mention is that currently I am using the iLift kit for this support. And um, I would say that the Woodside guitar support, as it is, it's super small. And uh, I think it's basically small for anyone. So you far, if you are interested in buying this type of support, I will really recommend you. I know it's a shame. I also believe it should be implemented into the support itself. But the, the support as it is, it was very, very small. I forgot to mention one thing that I believe it's important. Why do I think height is not enough? Because, for example, these two supports have similar height, like about 7 inches. The wood side is a little more. But uh, height is not enough if it puts the height in the wrong places, you know? So if you're a tall person, you really should consider these factors. Unless you want to use your stage works like this. <laughs> In conclusion, what is my favorite guitar support at the moment? It's Woodside guitar support. But it is my favorite guitar support because it fit my needs. It fit what I was looking for. But does that mean it will be right for you? It really depends. So I would say you should prioritize considering these different factors and your needs when making your decision to acquire a new support. Thank you.